As a colossal warship equipped with electromagnetic catapult technology sails into the deep blue sea, what quiet shifts are occurring in the global naval balance of power? On November 14, 2025, a date destined to be etched into naval history, the lead ship of China's Type 076 electromagnetic catapult amphibious assault ship, the Hainan, slowly departed the dock at Hudong Zhonghua Shipyard in Shanghai, commencing its maiden sea trials. This globally pioneering electromagnetic catapult amphibious assault ship not only represents another major breakthrough in China's naval equipment development, but also ushers in a new era for the evolution of amphibious assault ships worldwide. Footage from the scene clearly shows the flight deck of the Sichuan has been marked out, with the tracks for the electromagnetic catapult and arresting gear distinctly visible. Launched in December 2024, this colossal vessel completed outfitting and dock trials in less than a year, demonstrating the astonishing efficiency of China's shipbuilding industry. Comparatively, the first 075-class amphibious assault ship, a less complex design, took approximately 15 months from launch to its first sea trial. The Sichuan's achievement of sea trial readiness in just 11 months underscores its remarkable construction pace. The Sichuan's inaugural sea trials will primarily validate the reliability and stability of critical systems, like its propulsion and electrical networks. For a new warship employing electromagnetic catapult technology, these tests are particularly crucial. The electromagnetic launch system demands exceptionally high power supply, requiring the ship's entire power generation and distribution systems to handle instantaneous peak loads. Simultaneously, the performance of onboard electronics and sensor systems under real ocean conditions will undergo rigorous testing. This colossal vessel, with a full load displacement exceeding 40,000 tons, features a unique dual island design. The forward island primarily handles navigation control, while the aft island focuses on aviation command. This clear division of functions avoids potential conflicts inherent in traditional single island designs, enhancing command efficiency and survivability. In wartime scenarios, even if one island is damaged, the other can continue performing essential command duties. Military analysts suggest the Liaoning Sea Trials may progress faster than anticipated. This acceleration stems largely from the proven reliability of numerous shipboard systems, validated on the Type 075 amphibious assault ships, which laid a solid foundation for testing the Type 076. Taking the lead 075 as an example, it took only about four months from its first sea trial to formal commissioning. Although the 076 class incorporates new systems, like electromagnetic catapults and arresting gear, it draws on relevant experience from the electromagnetic catapult trials on the Fujian. Consequently, its sea trial cycle is expected to remain relatively compact. If progress continues smoothly, the Sichuan is likely to formally join the naval fleet by 2026. Notably, attention is focused on whether carrier-based aircraft take off and landing tests will be conducted during these sea trials. Unlike traditional carriers, the Sichuan primarily carries various unmanned aerial vehicles. Since UAVs rely primarily on automated systems for guidance during takeoff and landing, their maritime testing risks are relatively low. This creates conditions for initiating aviation operation tests during the early sea trial phase. The Attack 11 stealth drone is likely to become the primary UAV carried by the Type 076, capable of flying at 0.9 Mach with an operational radius exceeding 1,500 kilometers. It possesses significant penetration and strike capabilities. Another compelling aspect is whether the Sichuan will conduct tests related to carrying manned carrier-based aircraft. If so, the Type 076 would transcend its role as a pure electromagnetic, catapult-equipped UAV carrier, evolving into a quasi-aircraft carrier capable of operating both manned and unmanned aircraft. This multi-mission capability would greatly expand its operational flexibility. It could operate alongside Type 075 amphibious assault ships to enhance the combat effectiveness of amphibious landing task forces or integrate into carrier strike groups to bolster the combat power of China's naval carrier forces. From an operational perspective, the primary mission of the Liaoning aircraft carrier remains conducting three-dimensional amphibious operations. It can carry amphibious armored vehicles for traditional flat deck landings while also deploying helicopters and tall aircraft for vertical landings behind enemy coastal defenses. The stern well deck accommodates Type 726 hovercraft and amphibious armored vehicles, enabling it to transport an entire amphibious battalion. This design enables coordinated three-dimensional operations involving air superiority, vertical landings, and beachhead breakthroughs. Globally, applying electromagnetic catapult technology to amphibious assault ships represents a pioneering initiative.
This technology fundamentally distinguishes the Sichuan from traditional amphibious assault ships, enabling it not only to operate helicopters, but also to catapult fixed-wing aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles. The electromagnetic catapult system is particularly suited for UAV operations due to its high precision and energy regulation, which avoids the damage to lightweight airframes caused by conventional catapults. This technological advantage allows the Type 076 to fully leverage the operational characteristics of UAVs, low-cost, high-density, and flexible deployment. Military expert Du Wenlong notes that deploying UAVs, cost-effective, high-volume, Large-scale aerial assets with significant strike capabilities, as primary combat platforms will establish a new strategic paradigm. China's pioneering use of electromagnetic catapult technology, previously exclusive to aircraft carriers, demonstrates innovative development in the configuration of new amphibious assault ships. This innovation extends beyond technical advancements to encompass revolutionary shifts in operational doctrine and warfare tactics. Beyond amphibious operations, the Type 076 can perform distant sea defense missions akin to aircraft carriers. It can operate within carrier strike groups or independently lead escorts to conduct distant sea defense operations, significantly enhancing the PLA Navy's comprehensive combat capabilities. This multi-mission flexibility makes the Type 076 a highly valuable multi-role asset within naval force structures. From a broader perspective, the emergence of the Sichuan marks China's naval transition from follower to leader. While nations like the United States maintain dominance in traditional aircraft carrier technology, China has taken substantive strides in the entirely new domain of electromagnetic, catapult-equipped amphibious assault ships, charting a new course for global naval equipment development. This asymmetric innovation demonstrates the strategic wisdom guiding China's military equipment advancement and underscores the nation's overall leap in technological prowess. As the Sichuan sets sail for its trial waters, a new chapter unfolds in the history of naval equipment development. This warship, which fills a gap in naval history, will not only become a vital force in safeguarding national unity, but also symbolize the Chinese Navy's resolute strides toward the deep blue. The roar of the electromagnetic catapult is both a resolute declaration of a nation's maritime aspirations and the starting point for modern amphibious warfare to transcend horizons. In potential future operations to safeguard national unity, the Sichuan is poised to become a formidable deterrent against separatist forces contributing crucial strength to upholding national sovereignty and territorial integrity. The sight of five tugboats guiding the gray-white colossus away from the dock symbolizes a new leap in the Chinese Navy's distant sea combat capabilities. As this vessel, equipped with electromagnetic catapult technology, cuts through waves toward its test waters, it carries not only the dream of a warship, but also a solid footprint on the path to building a maritime power. The rules of naval warfare are being rewritten, and this time, the Chinese Navy stands at the forefront of innovation, 